Today, we're diving into the mysteries of mathematics and exploring something that has baffled mathematicians for centuries. The equation x times x equals negative 1. You may already be familiar with real and complex numbers, but what if there was something beyond? Join me as we challenge traditional rules and travel to infinity to discover a new way of thinking about numbers. Let's break through the limits together. Before complex numbers, we had the equation x times x equals 1. This equation had solutions in the real numbers, such as x equals 1 or negative 1. If we substitute these values into the equation, we get 1, making our equation valid. However, when we try to solve an equation like x times x equals negative 1, we found that there isn't a single real number that satisfies this equation. To address this, mathematicians assumed that the square root of negative numbers is complex, and the unit complex number, i, is defined as the square root of negative 1. In transitioning from real to complex numbers, there's another equation we may have overlooked the form x divided by x. We primarily focused on solving the x times x equation. For both real and complex numbers, these equations, x times x equals 1 and x divided by x equals 1, have solutions. For example, x times x equals 1 has solutions like x equals 1 or negative 1. And the same applies to x divided by x equals 1. But an interesting aspect is that the solutions to x times x equals negative 1 are the positive unit of complex i and the negative complex unit, negative i. However, these solutions do not satisfy the equation x divided by x equals negative 1. For every real or complex number, there is no solution to the equation x divided by x equals negative 1 or other such equations. But in this channel, we challenge traditional rules and travel to infinity. Let's find the solution to this equation now, something that has never been tried or discovered before. To solve x divided by x equals negative 1 and find the value of x that satisfies this equation, we must go beyond traditional mathematics. For real and complex numbers, at first glance it seems this equation has no solution a so-called contradiction. But let's break it down step by step. First, we can write x in the denominator as the reciprocal of x, so it becomes x times x to the power of negative 1 equals negative 1. You can see that both are the same number, so their powers will add up according to exponential rules, and the equation becomes x to the power of 0 equals negative 1. Here, x to the power of 0 and x are variables. I didn't put a constant here. If it were a constant, it would be equal to 1, so don't confuse yourself. Let's proceed to the next step. Now we have the equation x to the power of 0 equals negative 1. Take the natural logarithm of both sides. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you know that the natural logarithm of negative 1 is j, which is the virtual unit of the virtual number system. Using the logarithmic properties, we get 0 times log x equals j. Since we can't shift 0 to the other side due to the limitations of real or complex arithmetic, but we can shift log x. So the equation becomes 0 equals j over log x. Here we can move the virtual unit j to the left side, and the equation becomes 0 divided by j equals 1 over log x. Since 0 divided by j is 0, our equation simplifies as 0 equals 1 over log x. Also, we can write the right side as log x to the power of negative 1. So the equation becomes 0 equals log x to the power of negative 1. Now take the negative 1th root on both sides of the equation. Now the left side becomes 0 to the power of negative 1 equals log x, as the negative 1th root is the reciprocal of a number. So the reciprocal of negative 1 is negative 1. But the reciprocal of 0 is k, and k is the singularity unit and is defined as 1 over 0. So the equation becomes k equals log x. 
Now take the anti-logarithm on both sides, so we get e to the power of k equals x. This is what we were trying to find. You can test this value on the original equation. Remember, singularity numbers over singularity numbers is not 1.